What is up guys, it's Southpod Hope here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade from any firmware so you can jailbreak untethered again. So basically what you need to do is download your SHSH files if you don't already have them saved. I have a video on that uh, in linked on the screen right now. Click on that if you need to save them. Make sure you do it or this video is basically pointless. Alright, so once you do that, you want to go into Cydia, you want to go into Extras, not Cydia, sorry, go into Red Snow, put on Extras, and then go to SHSH Blobs. Then you're going to go to Stitch, and then you're going to browse your IPSW, which I'll have a link in the description for the 5.0.1 firmware. Okay, so you need to go to your downloads or wherever you saved it to. Open that. Then you need to go to your blobs, wherever you have them saved. Scroll down to where you have them. Make sure this is it. Your 5.0.1. Find your custom SHSH blob. Open it, and it will stitch. Very uh, easy to do, and yeah, this will just go on. It might take a little while, depending on everything, the firmware and everything. Okay, so now it's going to be saved to wherever you have your IPSW and mine's in my downloads. So I'm going to take this and you can't mistake it because it has a completely different name with a whole bunch of numbers in the front. Which is completely normal, don't flip out, don't, don't do anything. Now basically what you need to do is go into iTunes and once you go into there, if I can get iTunes to open. This doesn't feel like opening. So you can go on your iPod right now and hold. Yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, so go in your iPod. It'll be uh, probably in regular mode, and then you have to put it into DFU mode, which is very easy. Um, you turn your iPod off, then you hold the home power button for 10 seconds, and then release the power button and hold the home button for another 10 seconds so I guess wherever much you need um so if you need help on that go find a video or use red snow um I'll just hold up red snow to help out you guys okay so what you need to do you go into red snow and press pwned dfu it will close out of iTunes actually. So, you need to turn your iPod into DFU mode. Right then, just hold the home power button. And then, once your screen goes black, release the power button. Keep on holding the home button for a while, and, and it should be good. And there we go. Uh, it will do its thing, and it will be all good. It's all done. And go now, go back into iTunes. It was an already pop up. And, um, go over right here. Sorry about this. I'm on my Mac working and I'm not used to Windows 7. And, um, plus Shift Restore or Option Restore, depending on uh, if you have Mac or Pro, or I mean a Mac or Windows. Um, you mm -hmm. have to browse for your custom made IPSW mm -hmm. and restore it to that. That's pretty much all you have to do from now on. I iTunes will do the rest and I'll be back once iTunes is done. Okay, so after it's done restoring all you have to do, sorry about the volume, uh, all you have to do is go on your iPod it will probably boot up and one 
object. Okay, wait for your iPod to boot up. Let me go ahead and probably pause this for a second. Alright, never mind, we're good. Okay, so you can go into your iPod and make sure you set up as a new iPod or iPhone or iPad, whatever you're using. And basically just set it up, made sure that it did work and everything. And as you can see, I am now on 5.0.1. So if you have any uh, problems with this, leave a comment below. I'll help you out. And if I can't, I'll... Uh, try my best maybe the community will help you out anything really um so it's pretty much it for this video if you liked it if it helped you at all give it a like comment and even subscribe if you want to all right hope this helps everybody out there and I'll catch you guys later